In most cultures around the world, the dead are very relevant. From reincarnation in Hinduism to mummification in Old Egypt. You can find a lot of different traditions all over the globe. And of course, Japan is not an exception with that. In this country, death is almost as important as life itself. Today we will talk about ghosts and spirits in Japan. Welcome to the Glim. When a person dies, the soul of this person travels to the land of the dead, also known as the Yamano Kuni, the Shinto afterlife, or the Anoyo, the pure land of the Buddhists. But before getting there, the soul most of the times faces some serious obstacles, and this road can be quite difficult at times. Some things are too tough to overcome. This is where a spirit gets trapped and turns into a Yurii, a Japanese ghost. The word Yurii comes from the kanji Yu, which means dark, and Rei, which means soul. These souls, trapped in some sort of purgatory between life and death, play a great role in the world of storytelling in Japan. According to Shinto tradition, we all have a god within us, similar to what we know as a soul. When we die, this soul frees itself from our body. The soul has to reach the afterlife, but this can be a demanding task. This is why when a loved one dies in Japan, the living relatives must watch over the deceased, to help them and accompany them in their journey by doing rituals. Once they have overcome all these obstacles, they will finally enter the afterlife and will look over and protect their living relatives from misfortune. Sometimes when people die of an unnatural cause, left some issues unresolved or even when they did not have a well-performed funeral ritual, the spirit gets stuck between life and death, and becomes a Yurii. These spirits won't rest until they have solved their mortal and earthly problems. A lot of Japanese horror movies are based on this concept. Most of the times these spirits have a very human-like shape, but they are floating in the air without feet. In addition, they usually have long black hair and wear a kimono, often in white, that was used during their funeral rituals. Sometimes they are deformed as they take on the appearance they had before they passed. There are multiple types of Yurii, classified according to their earthly suffering. Onryo one of these types of Yurii is called the Onryo. These are vengeful ghosts who died having resentment to a person or a obstacle they faced in life. They search for revenge and usually turn against everybody or everything. Also to people who have nothing to do with the problems the Onryo faced while still alive. Most of the Onryo in Japanese folklore are females that want to revenge their ex-partners for cheating on them. In the original stories it doesn't describe how these onryos looked like, but once these spirits became popular in kabuki, a traditional form of theater originating from the Edo period in Japan, these onryos were usually depicted with long black hair and a white kimono, but also with white and blue indigo makeup. The earliest onryo cult that developed was around Prince Nagaya, who died in 729. And the first record of possession by one of these spirits was found in the chronicle Shoku Nihon in 797, which states that Fujiwara Hiratsugo's soul harmed Genbua, a Japanese scholar monk and bureaucrat of the imperial court, for failing to remove him from power. Traditionally in Japan, Onryo were thought to be capable of causing death and harm, but they were also capable of natural disasters such as fires, storms, earthquakes and pestilence. Kozodata Yurii Another type of these Yuriais is the Kozodata Yurii or Abuma, the spirit of a mother who passed away during childbirth and returned to earth to take care of her child. Like the other Yurii, these ghosts appear as faint images of their former selves. They are also often seen with their white burial kimono or sometimes the clothes they wore in their lifetime. However, these Yurii often appear less horrific, sometimes even slightly loving, when compared to for instance the Onryo Yurii. They appear to travelers on the road at night, 
or shopkeepers that are alone doing their duties. They often return to the same place over and over again. These ghosts have only one goal, to see the well-being of their child in the land of the living. They do this by for instance buying goods such as candy or toys for their children. Of course they have no money so they pay with whatever they can, for instance dead leaves. They seek out living people and try to lead these people back to the location of their child. Once the child is taken care of, the Kozodata Yurii can finally enter the afterlife and will stop appearing every night. Funiyurii Another one of these Yurii ghosts is the Funiyurii. Funiyurii are the ghosts of people that died at sea. Usually sailors who remain in this world searching for former shipmates with the intention of drowning them into the ocean. Like the other Yurii they also appear as dead bodies wearing a white funeral kimono. These ghosts are seen at night during full moons or stormy and foggy nights. Usually they appear as a glowing misty entity that forms into a ship with a ghostly crew as it approaches. These ships charge into other boats causing them to capsize and sometimes sink. The Funiyurii carry Hishaku, which are buckets on a stick, and use these buckets to fill the ships of the living with water in an attempt to sink them. To protect themselves from these spirits, people carry buckets with holes to give to the ghosts, which then stops them sinking their ship. To avoid these ships, boats should sail through the mist instead of turning around and trying to escape from it. Another method is to throw food overboard as an offering and in the hopes that you will distract them long enough so you can get away. Omi Bozu Funiyurii sometimes get confused with Omi Bozu, giant mysterious sea monks. They are usually spotted in the sea, ocean, and bays. The Omi Bozu appears on calm nights, where there is no sign of anything out of the ordinary. They appear all of a sudden, without any warnings. The waves and the weather instantly turn into a furious condition and from the tumult rises a huge titanic creature. Its true form is unknown, as it is only ever seen from the shoulders up. They appear to be human-like in shape, with an inky black skin and large round eyes. Some say that these creatures are more like a serpentine, while others make them out to be more ghost-like, like an enormous kind of funiurii. In the same way as the funiurii, they will demand a broken bucket or a barrel from the crew. Some people say that the Omi Bozu are the ghosts of drowned priests. Cast into sea by villagers, these priests have transformed into ghosts due to the cruel nature of their death making them cousins of the similarly dreaded Funiyurii. Other people say that Omi Bozu are sea monsters that live deep, in the Sido Inland Sea. Because sightings of these entities are rare and almost always fatal, it is difficult to find out the true nature and origin of this spirit, and thus, will remain a mystery for a long time. Jiba Kuriai some ghosts are aware of the situation they reside in, and you can dialogue with them. Sometimes you can even help them solve their problem to help them to the afterlife. But there are also the Jibakuriai, ghosts that are tied to a specific place, usually the place where their death occurred, which usually is suicide. These ghosts carry a curse and are the most fearsome of all. They haunt the people around them. They often induce insomnia or sleep paralysis on their victims and the only way to cure these symptoms is by staying away or leaving the place completely. Sashiki Warashi Sashiki Warashi are the ghosts of kids. With blushing red faces, the boys wearing child-sized warrior costumes, and the girls wearing patterned kimonos, with hair that is either short and bobbed or long and tied back. It is said that only children and the owners of the house are able to see these spirits. They usually like to prank the residents. 
Often the first signs that a house may be haunted by these ghosts is by a trail of children's footprints going through ashes or soap powder. Other signs include phantom noises in the house. These noises are usually children's games, paper crinkling, children's voices or Kagura Shinto holy music, a form of music that is dedicated to the Shinto gods. Most people love these spirits as they are believed to bring great fortune and riches to those whose houses they haunt. But when they leave you may have a problem. In one example, a family witnessed a Zashiki Warashi leaving their home, and soon they all died from food poisoning. In another example, a wealthy man's son shot a Zashiki Warashi with a bow and arrow, and soon after that, the family's fortune collapsed. Direct sightings of these spirits are rare, but there actually have been camera recordings of these spirits. We can't know for sure if these videos are real, as nowadays it is easy to manipulate videos, but still, the images are an interesting sight. Gaki Unlike the other ghosts mentioned earlier, Gaki are ghosts specific to Buddhism. Gaki are ghosts which are constantly suffering and live in pain and torment. They appear human-like, but they have bulging bellies and tiny inefficient mouths. They are said to live in a parallel realm called Gakido, a barren place full of deserts, wasteland and inhospitable terrain. These spirits are eternally hungry and thirsty. They suffer in different ways. The sins they committed in a past life now haunt them for eternity. Some of them can't eat or drink anything at all. Some try to eat the food but when it enters their mouth it instantly bursts into flames and vanishes. Others are only able to eat unclean things, such as feces, vomit, corpses and so on. Some of them can eat anything they please, however, it doesn't matter how much they eat. They will never be satisfied and even after hours of eating, they still won't be satisfied. In some Buddhist traditions, a ceremony called Sagaki, is performed to help ease the suffering of these Gakis. Rice and water are placed on special altars, out of sight of statues of the gods or Buddha. The Gaki then are called to come and have dinner, while the Buddhists pray to ease some of their suffering. Nowadays, the word Gaki is used as a curse word for children. This comes from the idea that some children always want more food and that they are never satisfied with what they get. Shinto Spirits Not all ghosts or spirits are bad, haunting your house or leaving a curse. Actually there are more good spirits than the bad ones. These spirits are called Shinto spirits. Shinto, also known as the Way of the Gods, is the indigenous faith of the Japanese people and is as old as Japan itself. Besides Buddhism this is the main religion in Japan. Unlike other religions, Shinto does not have a founder, nor does it have sacred scriptures like the Bible or Quran. Propaganda and preaching also aren't common things to do in Shinto, as it is deeply rooted in the traditions and people themselves. Shinto gods are called Kami. Sacred spirits which take the form of things and concepts important to life, such as wind, rain, mountains, trees, rivers and fertility. When humans die they can become Kami. The Kami of extraordinary people sometimes are even enshrined at some shrines. The sun goddess Amaterasu is considered Shinto's most important kami. Unlike a lot of monotheistic religions, Shinto doesn't have a right and wrong. Nobody is perfect. It is an optimistic faith as humans are thought to be fundamentalistic good, and evil is believed to be caused by evil spirits. The purpose of most Shinto rituals is to keep away these evil spirits by purification, prayer and different types of offerings to the kami. Shinto shrines are places of worship, but also serve as the houses for the kami. 
In these places the dead live together with the living, as usually in these places a Shinto priest is residing. In this religion both male and females can become priests and also are they allowed to marry and have children. Priests are aided by Miko, which are younger women during these rituals. Miko wear a white kimono, must be unmarried and most of the times are the daughters of priests. Chico Bucken. Imagine this, you're buying a house, 100 square meters, very close to Tokyo, but with the mountainside near, with a renovated kitchen and a big bathroom, and on top of that you get a nice view. Then they tell you it's only a couple hundred dollars a month. This is reality. There is only one downside to it. The house is haunted. The reason the salesman was so enthusiastic was because he hasn't been able to sell it for a long time. The reason that the kitchen is renovated is because that's where a body was found of a guy who committed suicide. Chico Bucken, also known as black properties or psychologically harmful properties are rising in Japan. There is even a website called oshimaland.com where you can find the locations of the stigmatized properties. It is believed that the deceased continue living in their house after their passing. This is especially true when it comes to violent or lonely deaths. The left behind spirits will purposefully haunt the living. When it comes to superstition, Japan has always had a handful of it. Ghosts and Japan are intimately intertwined. Nowadays it has influenced its way into Hollywood and the rest of the world. You can visit Japan yourself and still see how interwoven the culture is with its reverence towards the supernatural or unexplainable. Ranging from whimsy spirit worlds on film, to eccentric monsters and ghosts. It had, and still has a huge impact on Japan's art and culture. The art is inherently haunted. No matter what future technology emerges, or how advanced the society gets, these ghosts will always be lurking somewhere, in a dark corner. If you enjoyed this documentary, make sure to subscribe and let us know what you thought of this documentary.